Hi, good afternoon. I'm Michael with Haas Tree Gear. And in the last two videos, we talked about how to find the appropriate size toss, either a large or a regular, and then how to set that up to you specifically. And the second video, I showed you how to use it in a double climbing system. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to use it in a single rope climbing system. What I have is I've got my climbing line through the top of a crotch, and then I have a basal tied to the trunk behind me. My setup is a hitch climber pulley, uh, an ocean's tether, and a rope wrench. This is what I climb on almost all the time. So one of the things you're gonna to have to do if you're climbing a, a single rope is there's nothing tending your hitch as you go up. Um, on a double rope system, you've got your, your eye splice coming down, which as you go up, it's pulling that up, keeping everything taut. When you use the senders in a system like this, all your weight is on your feet, and there's no weight on your hitch until you sit down into it, which causes a little bit of a problem. And the way that we deal with that is you need to tend that up somehow. My method of tending it is to take the tail of my lanyard and I make a, uh, a loop just with an overhand knot, nothing special, it's not life support. Put a cross in that, put an arm through either side, and then flip it over your head. Now I've got a bite on either shoulder and I can hook in right here if I, if I capture both bites. First thing first though, what we're going to do is we're going to check the system and make sure, uh, do a weight check on it. So I'm going to tie into my bridge, I'm going to do my weight check. Everything seems good, so now we can start putting our ascent system on. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hoss and I'm going to put that in my foot. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that on the center bucket of the hitch climber pulley. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put, take both of these bites and capture both of them in my upper carabiner. This is going to tend my hitch climber pulley. You're going to want to get this as tight as you can. The higher and the tighter you get it, the better the system's going to work. So now I'm all set. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a big step on my foot sender to get me up off the ground. And then I'm going to attach the Haas. Now as you can see, as I walk up the rope, my senders slide up the rope and my chest tether is actually tending my hitch climber pulley for me. So when I sit down, there's no sit back. It's completely tended. When I want to come off the system, all I have to do is open the gates on my senders and come back down. If I was going to work like this, what I would do is I would go ahead and I would take off my chest tether like that and then work my tree. So I'm going to come back down. I'm going to show you how, just one more time, what I did. So again, right now I'm tied into my bridge. I've got my hoss in place with the boat snap in the center bucket. I'm going to take my chest tether. And I'm going to capture both, both loops like that, and I'm ready to ascend again. I usually start with my foot ascender just because it's easier and it's what I'm used to. Most of us are used to using a right foot first. So when I'm ready, take a big step up, sit down, put your house on, just walk right up the rope. When you get up where you want to do your work, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your senders back off. Take your chest tether off. And then take that dog snap out. You never have to open your system up. So I'm never not tied in. I'm on a single system ready to go to work. So I hope you guys enjoy them. If you have any questions, check out the website, www.hostreegear.com. My email and all my information is on there. Feel free to contact me. Have a good day.